Hello and welcome to this week's Granny's Garden. Now this week we are back in my neighbour's garden where we're going to do step two of the two-step method for transplanting an established holly bush. Now holly bushes don't particularly like being moved, they tend to shock very very easily so anything you can do to help this effort all the better. Now step one I carried out last fall because step one is done in the fall and step two is done in the spring. So last fall I came in here and with a very very sharp spade about 12 inches long along the drip line I sliced into the ground vertically all the way around this drip line and that's all I did well almost all I did because holly bushes have very superficial roots what you're wanting to do in this step one is to slice through those roots the thicker ones and then for the rest of the fall and through the winter it's going to establish new thinner feathery roots to give a little helping hand what I did is put a little bit of rooting hormone in that little crack or crevice formed by the spade just to give a little helping hand. Now as I was carrying out step one last fall I was a bit concerned at the fact that I wasn't finding enough roots. Holly bushes as I've stated before does have a very superficial root system and it should be lots and lots of root and I wasn't finding that so that could be due to either of two things either that the root system is weak and the plant isn't thriving or at some stage the actual soil level has been raised. Now either of those two options we're not very happy with but it is what it is and we're going to give it our best shot. Step two begins with a little bit of preparation. We're aiming to have the holly bush out of the ground where it is at the moment the least amount of time possible so prepare first. Number one is prepare the hole to receive it. This has got to be the same depth so not very deep the same depth that it is at the moment and wider than it is at the moment so it's got time to fluff up those roots and get a good hold very very quickly. We're going to be making the incision in that exact same place that I made in the fall and it is very visible. If you have a look from above you can see that perfect little circle around because when you finish sort of like slicing into it in the fall the sort of like some little give and sort of caving into that little drip line you can see the perfect little circle around so it's not going to be very difficult to find it again. Vamos, corre. Hola. Right, we're ready for phase two. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually mark the front part of this because this has been the part that's been receiving most light and therefore it's the part I want facing the front when it's on the other side. So I've got this little clothes peg here and the first thing I'm going to do is just mark the front of it. That's easy. The next thing you would do is actually prepare the hole. Now, in actual fact, there used to be a lilac tree here, or a lilac shrub, that has been lifted. So the hole has been already dug. Fantastic. One job less. And the little mound of earth is there behind it, ready to receive the lifted bush. So let's get back to the actual lifting. Now, there is the drip line, and you can actually see the circle that was made last year. So we've got to do, first of all, is get in there, start sinking that spade in, and then start easing the root ball out. Now, this is a very prickly hedge. So what I'm going to do beforehand is actually just raise some of the branches, tie them in and put some burlap around it. I don't want my son and my husband to get their eyes pricked out because I brought the muscle power with me today. But the husband over there, my son over there, and they're the ones who are going to be with the pickaxe and the spade. So first thing I want to do is actually get this tied up.
lo he dicho, ¿eh? Well, that's this job basically finished. If you are going to move something like an established holly bush, do program it so you're able to do the two-step method, the first part in the fall and the second part in spring. It makes it a lot less stressful for that tree. Now the important thing is to water. For that first seven days, water every single day. And from then on, every week, really deeply, until the summer comes. Here it's very, very hot in summer, very hot and dry. So you probably have to step up maybe to uh, two or three times a week. And then for the rest of the growing season, just once a week. All in all, a successful transplant. We've got to see now if any of the leaves fall. They do go through a transplant shock. It is possible now that some of the leaves are going to fall. Indeed, all of them might fall. No panic. All you've got to do is wait and they'll start shooting out those new leaves again as soon as they have a chance to recover. The two steps, prepare it in the fall, transplant it in the spring, make sure you water it in, make sure it's done as quickly as possible so that root ball is exposed the least amount of time to the air. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next week again in Granny's Garden. Bye-bye now.